Hi, I am Shivam Gupta, and today we are solving sum of all odd length subarrays. It is a easy level problem on lead code. Uh, problem is very straightforward. Like uh, uh, they gave us a vector, and uh, I have to I have to return the sum of all odd length odd length subsequence of this array. Like uh, what will be the odd subsequence? Let uh, uh, see from this explanation. Uh, one will be the subsequence four, two, five, three, and uh, and another odd length subsequence will be three length, a length of three. Um, where one four two can be a subsequence four two five will uh, will be a one of them and two uh, five three, and uh, here is the last one which is a length of five. So it is also the odd length. So we have to return the sum of all or odd length subsequences, right? So, yeah. To so let uh, let's start. Okay. So um, for doing this question, uh, I will I will I will be using prefix prefix sum, and I will create a prefix vector where I store the sum of the running sum of the vector. Let's create one. First of all, let's uh, declare the size of the given array n, and uh, for the same size, I will be creating a prefix sum prefix sum array, where I will be storing the running sum of the vector. Right. So let's uh, assign let's assign the first element. of this sum will be the first element of the given array okay so right let's create a variable sum in which we will store our sum of all the odd length subsequences and return this sum at at the final as a final result okay so uh, Okay, so let's traverse through the vector and create a prefix array. Okay, so pre sum pre sum of i will be will be the sum of will be the sum of previous index. Plus the current index, and uh, let's store the sum of this array. Okay, in the sum vector. Actually, uh, here in this step, I calculated the sum of these five subsequences of length one. So. Iterating through this, I can uh, see the sum of these five because it is a length of one. So I just created a sum variable, initiated with the first element, and iterate uh, iteration start with the one till the n. Then I will I will be having the sum of all these five subsequences, right? Okay, uh, this is the one thing. And uh, the next thing is this prefix sum array. Um, as you all know that what is prefix, I I hope you all know. But uh, let me give you a brief uh, about what is a prefix sum array. Like uh, prefix sum array of the uh, let's let's understand from this one example. Like uh, example, uh, I have an array uh, array of Values one comma two comma three, right? And uh, if I want to create a prefix sum array for the for this a vector, so what will I have to do? I will create a same size of a vector as a a um, pre pre uh, named as pre named it as a pre. Okay, so uh, in this vector, I will be storing one at a first index. And one plus two at a second index, 
वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री एट थर्ड इंडेक्स राइट सो दिस इज वॉट वॉट विल वॉट वॉट विल बी दिस वे वेर डू आई यूज दिस I will be using it uh, for calculating the sum of the ranges. Like, uh, if I if I want to uh, want to have a sum of these two numbers, then I will directly return this index of this vector. It will it 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 has a sum of these two elements. So, I will directly return the uh, this index in a order of O of one, right? O of one. Okay. this is a very small vector so um, we don't we don't have uh, we don't see the proper use of this prefix sum but uh, suppose a uh, array of a very big number so in the in that case a uh, prefix sum array will help us so to uh, to to solve a bigger problem we created a prefix sum array okay so now let's after creating this let's quickly uh let's uh, create or traverse through r array plus 2 okay i'm actually uh, it is a length uh, odd length so uh, i started it with initialize it with 2 and uh, uh, i i i incremented in a uh, every iteration i increment the value of i with Two, so I so in this manner I will be having a odd length. So four j j will be started from zero, and the condition that I can put here are uh, j n um, j plus plus. Okay, so second loop is in in the second loop. Uh, we will be checking that uh, if If j equals to zero, right? In that case, I will be directly uh, return. Uh, I will directly sum the value of pre of i, pre sum of i, right? Pre sum of i, okay. Pre sum of i, ठीक है. Okay, so um, otherwise, if not true, then I will be summing the value of I plus J minus my bad. It's a free sum. Okay, free sum of uh, J minus one. Okay, so let's understand why this is working. Like, um, if I have to, if I have to calculate the sum of uh, sum of uh, this. Two, these two values. So, how do I use use this prefix sum array to calculate the sum of two or three? So, what will I do? I will uh, access this element and uh, minus minus uh, the. I will minus like like uh, at the this this index the sum will the sum that is stored here is the sum of First index, second index, and third index, right? From R A array, first index plus second index plus third index. It is the sum of third index, right? So, um, so if I have to calculate the sum of these two numbers, so what will I do? Like one plus two plus three. So I will subtract. I will subtract the uh, the second index. the index before the second index like this is the sec at a second index uh, from this point to this point i will be having the sum of uh, sum of those two indexes so uh, so what will i do there is a extra one here so that's why i want to uh, subtract this index from this in this manner i will be having the sum of uh, Two plus three, right? Like uh, one plus two plus three minus the index before the second index. Like I want to calculate 
the sum of the range range for uh, first comma second index this is the range that this is the range uh, in which i want to calculate the sum right in our a array this is a one index one first index and a second index so i want to calculate the sum of this two indexes inclusively right so yeah so i want to do this so for doing this what will i do i will be uh, doing this in this manner three of three of second minus three of zero why zero uh, because uh, one is uh, is already summed up at a second index so i want to subtract this value so that's why this uh, i i i am subtracting this value okay so from this value subtracting this like it will become 1 plus 2 plus 3 minus 1 so in this manner what we left with 2 plus 3 and this is what i want to calculate right like uh, 2 plus 3 right so this this is how it's working okay so great uh, okay so now um, our sum variable having the sum of all the odd length sub sequences of the vector right so now return return what is happening caps lock okay return um sum i guess um okay i guess this will work let's check Okay, so just looking in my bed. Okay. Okay, let's check this on the other test cases. Hmm. Great. Okay. Now let's submit. Let's see. Okay, so the uh, so the uh, our solution get accepted. So thank you for watching. That's it for this video.